Hello everyone, this is John from More Jeepney and we are here playing a multiplayer Bushido game. So we have here our 3x3 terrain to accommodate 4 players and we have here a narrative objective. The player has to go into base contact with the VIP uh, represented by the model of Ayako and they have to convince her by either doing an opposed key test or kidnapping her with an opposed melee test and bring them back to their deployment zone which are the corners of this table. Take note that she is also guarded by a Jade Mama Guard who will step in in case a melee test is called. So I'm here over at my corner and I'll be using Satoshi and the Temple Bushi from the Ito clan. Over here we have Tags and he'll be using... I'll be uh, using the son of Chunli and uh, Ryu. Her real name is Matsu Takashi. And a samurai, uh, Iju san Okay, Iju so, and the Hadouken girl from the prefecture. And we have here Christian. Christian, yes, what will you be using? We'll be using Ito Masunagi and Yanjing, the Imperial Princess, with Hotai's coin. Okay, so Hotai's coin is with the Yanjing. Yeah. Yanjing has the Hotai's coin, and the Hotai's coin allows you to reroll once. And over here we have Rafi. Hi, Hi Rafi. And I'm she'll be using. Easy and Golden Sentinel. Okay, so one Imperial Princess and the bodyguard and we will roll off and determine who goes first so we have finished the first turn and i didn't feel much because most of our guys just uh, ran around this uh, heavily heavily ornamented city with only one house okay so uh satoshi and my temple bushi are able to make it here by the house there However, the uh, models of Rafi, which is Yiji, and uh, is it Yiji? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Yiji and uh, Golden Sentinel make it near the door. Uh, Carlos Prefecture seemed to have uh, ignored this place entirely, maybe because of the uh, bow of Christian there, and is going towards my guys. So we have there Yiju and Matsu. Actually, the boxes contain more ornaments. And over here at this side, <laughs> like Christmas balls. we have Yan Jing with the bow, uh, trying to perhaps flank Carlos Prefecture, and Matsunagi is able to make it to the corner there. And we will now start with our turn two uh, rolls. So we we'll roll for initiative. Which which Carlo will win? I make a six. I, will, I, will. I also make a six. He makes a Christian makes a six. Um. Rafi the one. And so it's between me and Christian, so re-roll our sixes. I'm a six again, and he makes a two. So our rule here is whoever rolls the highest goes first, and he chooses whether the turn sequence will go clockwise or counterclockwise. So I will go first, and I will choose the next person would be uh, Rafi. Okay, to see if she has what it takes to take on my samurai. And for my first activation, of course, run tokens are gone. Let's get into action right away. We are on the road and we consider these roads as roads, so plus two movement. So I will move uh, seven inches with Satoshi and go ahead and engage Yiji over there. And we will have a melee exchange. So first action for turn oh, two. Uh, okay, so the Golden Sentinel triggers his bodyguard ability and we are now rolling for our attack. I believe the Golden Sentinel spent three key to increase its dice, and I did the same. And I am rolling uh, three attack, one defense, and what do you have? You roll three attack, three attack also, and one defense, so we will make our rolls. I have a uh, prowess, so I will reroll this one. You don't need to reroll. Okay. Oh, you can replace. So are you re-rolling anything? Mm, nope. Okay, not re-rolling anything. So we will now go with my attack. I have a 6, 7, and 8. You have a defense of 6, so difference of 2. Modifier. I have a 7. My spear gives me plus 2. 
So nine, but you have armor three. So armor three drops me to six. So I deal just a base of two damage to you. So you get dealt two damage. One. Now my defense is three. You and did. she has an attack <laughs> of eight. So difference of five. So roll 2d6, please. So you're dealing base uh, five damage to my character. Plus eight. Eight. Uh, what's his sword? sword? So that's a total of nine. Uh, minus three because I have the Ito clan armor. So Six. deals base of five damage. So Satoshi attacked and just like that, died. he died. <laughs> you, you murdered him. Okay, so he got murdered during his attack. That's so sad. And shoot! Oh no, she's shooting Ito. Ito did not run yet. Yeah. Matsu moves to the corner and is using the call lightning to shoot Ito Matsunagi. Well, what range are we at? Um, no. We are at range. That's yeah, medium. So six to hit on three dice. Call lightning. Oh yes. Three sixes. Three sixes. So <laughs> that is two in. So damage That's roll, eight. please. Armor. Armor two. Matsunagi's armor two. So two in. That is a 10. 10. So that is a. But armor 2, so 8. So it, it's a no modifier, but the 2 in still counts. So Matsunagi gets 2 damage. 2 oh, damage yes. to Matsunagi. Yanjing is moving. It's aggressively. Aggressively. To get within range of Matsu. You may want to turn your. You just made a move, so you're free to. Yeah, I, change I, the facing. I'm aiming this way. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna make that facing. Okay. So. So we I are at I'm range five? Uh, five. Yeah, range Nine. five. So that's four to hit. Four to hit, three but dice. you moved, so it is five to hit on three dice. Three dice. Five to hit on three dice. That is. Eight. And that is an eight. So three in. Plus roll your ah uh, your defense. brutal range defense one. Uh, range defense one just takes away the brutal, so it's uh, three in three in. Plus the dice modifier bow plus one. That is uh, six. That is a seven plus zero. So base of three damage. Matsu gets three damage. Okay, so I cheated and I uh, cheated myself and forgot that Satoshi has parry one. So since I had parry one, that means. He should still be alive, but down to one life. So Satoshi is back there. Also, another correction: I declared that Rafi would go next, but Carlo cheated and, and go ahead and, <laughs> told me to go and ahead. Uh, went next. No, I told him to go ahead. So, but anyway, yeah. Let's just since I declared it, let's just say that, for example, that, that <laughs> it just went counterclockwise. Oh, well. Okay. All right. So uh, let's continue on with this game. So Yanjing is moving around, ganging up against Satoshi, and uh, we'll have a melee exchange. Okay, so defender, I don't declare any use of key, I only have one key left, so uh, I will go all on defense, and I will use push defense, push defense zero as my special defense. And using, Rafi? You can use combo attack. Yeah. Rafi is going combo attack, and let's see how you have allotted your dice, please. Three attack and one defense. We will now roll off. Let me clear that out. Roll off. Okay. I will pro-S this one. Okay. So I have a defense of seven, uh, attack of six, seven, eight. So you have one in, but I am parry one. I now remember. So you are dealing at zero damage so you can replace one of his uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna replace her six three. Okay, and she is using her preordain uh, and replacing my six with a three. You can actually oh well it doesn't matter because that's a four. So I'm now four, five and six, seven, eight. So you have three in plus roll your damage modifier two D six. So three in plus ten, <laughs> but armor I am uh, armor three, armor so seven. Three so one. still, he's down to he's one still life, and he is still uh, killed. Oh, it, it, 
Actually, you died. Uh, she did a combo attack, but uh, she'll be beating up on a dead body. So anyway, that uh, finally removes Satoshi. So it's my turn, and my Temple Bushi has no chance against those two. So what I'll do is I'll just spend, walk around, hide behind the forest, and later come out once all of them have killed each other. So Matsu is going to Hadouken, yep. the bow princess over there. Armor ba? Wala akong armor. <laughs> no. I'll Make up use... armor. Add plus using one key to add plus one strength to the attack. the attack and that is range six i believe so medium range five to hit not moving five to hit on three dice we'll take a look at his dice where the camera cannot see the results anyway so six seven and eight so eight so that is three in uh, yeah that's three in uh, five to hit Eight, three in and uh, damage 2d6 damage, damage I have plus one strength oh, she could die right now so three in what is that four four plus one five minus one actually so she gets uh, two, damage. two damage and is she still alive she is still alive, she is still alive. So Matsunagi is making a charge, okay, but he falls off the step. No, but he's and that's it for continues his charge over there and has charged Matsu, and they will have a melee exchange. So Christian spends uh, his key to add dice, and he has a lot of his dice, uh, one defense and four on attack. Carl is going all defense, and will have the roll off. So, Carlos, two red dice. I will reroll. Using pro rolls. I don't need it. Oh, yeah. It might be, be a six. Oh, yes! Okay. So, defense of six. Also reroll. Okay, rerolling the two. Four, five, six. Tied at six, so dealing uh, damage. zero damage, zero base damage, but you have the damage roll modifier. And you have a sword plus two, and you charge plus two, so that's a total of damage modifier plus four. Armor? No armor. No armor. Four plus four is an eight, so that's a zero. So zero, zero. That charge rendered zero damage. Okay, so uh, Rafi opts to let uh, Yiji enter and try to talk to the girl to convince her. That is an opposed uh, key test. I will roll for the... Uh, uh, the civilian girl. Your key value so is your key value is two, so two dice versus my two dice. So I'll make a roll. I have a three. <laughs> I have only a three, and she has to beat the three, Damn which it. she does. So uh, Ayako, or well, not Ayako, but the VIP is now uh, going yes. with her. For my action, I will just pass. I'll wait for someone to 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 fight her and maybe interrupt later. So Carlo moves Iju to fight against the exhausted Matsunagi. Exhausted, ganged up, spending two. Yeah, so he's ganged up and exhausted. Spending two. So I do the. Again, faint. So faint allows him to re roll any defense dice of yours. Okay, so we have the roll off, uh, all attack. So all attack. All attack. Declaring sidestep defense. Declaring sidestep defense and all defense. All attack versus all defense. Prowess. Six, seven, eight. I can only add up to two, right? So yes. Don't so that is eight. Uh, Pro is that one. And that's a five. You have faint. I'll re roll this. I can re roll the six. <laughs> because a one. That is uh, two in. That is eight is to six. So two in plus. Uh, 2d6. Armor 2. Uh, okay. Armor 2. Uh, weapon 1. So minus 1. Okay. So just 1. Uh, minus 1 to the roll. Oh. I get 11. 11 minus 1 is 10. So that adds plus 1. So deals a total of 3 damage to Matsunagi. And uh, I believe he is killed because he received 2 damage. A while ago, from the lightning strike of 
Matsu. He's dead. So, uh, not being able to fire his bow, Yan Jing will just uh, step out and get away. And what you hear is her sound. Is her sound. That's how she sounds like uh, running away. Giggling. <laughs> Rafi just turns her golden sentinel around, watching out for my temple bushi. So, Iju, Carlos Prefecture guy, goes in and tries to uh, convince instead. No one wants to strike. Two is to two. I will roll. And I have rolled a two only. And she is now convinced by this guy. She is now uh, attached to that guy instead. Yes. She is that easy. So turn two ends and uh, the VIP is going with the prefecture but the threat of the sister is still there. So Carlo wins the initiative and he will be the first to activate and remember the VIP is with his guy over here, Iju. Yep. So Iju takes Come with the me. VIP with him. Can I base to base? And or moves out. Yeah, I base could, to base. I could use her to block a possible... Uh, <laughs> uh, using her as a human shield <laughs> against the bow. So Christian oh, is next. Let's generate people. Uh. And he uh, just reloads the bow of his character. Uh, that's, that's like over here. close enough for no. me to get here and... Yeah, yeah. You can get there by six inches. So just put her somewhere there, yeah. I swear, so, before there was twilight, there six was six inch move to try to get the VIP back. And will that be a strike or a talk? Uh, the bodyguard is already far. He won't be able to protect her anymore. Uh, You'll be striking at three, while she will be only striking at two. Who's <laughs> a matter of principle? Okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not as bad because I'm a girl. So it's uh, Rafi is a girl, so she said it's not bad to strike another girl. So let's see. So it's a uh, uh, opposed okay, melee. So, so uh oh, I rolled a seven. Ayaka rolls a seven for defense. You have a. Yep. But everyone prowess. dies because of our <laughs> You have prowess. Okay, you, you may have prowess. You may reroll that one there. You may reroll that one. No. And it is an eight, so uh, that single punch to the nose has convinced her that uh, she should join the uh, sister Lady, instead. Get your shit together, slap. So it's my turn, and since the VIP is over there, I will rotate and I will run. I'm passing through the road. So, so this so total of <laughs> nine point five will get me it's over a here. Halfway house. house for wayward women. So Matsu is attacking with Call Lightning uh, on against that sister over there. Uh, that is close range, four to hit. So you don't want to go with my bodyguard? <laughs> Take me! <laughs> should probably send your golden uh, so, sentinel over there. Needs a four, rolls A. Uh, six, eight, seven, eight. Eight, so four in, plus 2d6 damage roll. And so 2d6, four mm -hmm. in, plus and that's nine. a nine. Plus no one, armor. no yeah. armor, so she has oh, down. Damage. Yes, that's uh, she's killed. Yeah. Uh, Who's killed? Yes, the sister damage. is killed. Sister is killed. Oh. Should probably go get her with yeah. the bodyguard. And how about the bouncing damage? No, no, no. no. What? That's bad. Think? Only a girl can strike another girl. She's out of cover. So Yan Jing has already reloaded the bow. And we'll move forward and try to take out the Hadouken girl, Matsu. Moving to the road, so that's move six, yeah. You have to change there, okay. This is within ten. That is. Yeah. Yep, so, whoops. And she died. And she died. <laughs> and got pulled away by me. Okay. <laughs> Alright. 
As you can see, the model made the flip, landed, and nothing broke. Expertly modeled by the terror. <laughs> okay, so uh, five to hit. Five to hit. Yes, five to hit. Minus one. Then you have range I'm defense. So five to hit. Minus move six to hit. Six to uh, hit. Plus uh, brutal five to hit. And then plus range, range defense, defense six, to hit. six to hit. Six to hit. Eight. So that's an eight. So it's two in. Yeah, two in. Yes. Okay. So it's two in, two in plus the two d six, and plus one on my bow. Yeah. Seven. Damn it. Seven. So it's so zero. So zero. So two in. That is two in. That's enough to kill me. So that's oh, no. enough to kill. I already have three wounds. Oh no. Matsu. So oh, Matsu yeah, is killed. Uh -huh, <laughs> I didn't get the girl. I just got the other. Three. Run gets her to that corner. Facing off against Iju. And I will turn my guy, and I'll also run that way. So I'm activating my Temple Bushi, and let's run again. Okay, uh, 9.5. I can't go in his zone of control, so I'll end up there. Walk, six. Four, two, so Iju leaves the VIP. To engage. Are you leaving uh, the baby? Yanjing. I haven't uh, convinced her. Yeah. Back, so, <laughs> her there. so we have a melee exchange between the sword samurai and the bow princess. So that they get. So melee exchange. Dice. Four. I have four. Are you buying dice? I defend defender buys first, no? Yeah. yeah. I'll buy one. You can buy two if you want to, actually. I might die. I should buy two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would be an awful waste if I didn't get to buy two. I'll so, run up the vent. Pay two. And Same. I will do kote. Okay. I don't know how you do kote. <laughs> <laughs> this model. Okay, so, so Yan Jing uh, spends one. all her key. What does Fate do? You can reroll one of my dice. Yeah. And uh, goes out all on melee. And uh, one attack. And you're Iju exhausted. uses uh, Dokote and buys so a dice. You're exhausted. So X. what did I do? I was at three, and I bought two, and then I'm exhausted. Yep. So one attack. So all attack, four attack, versus three and one on Christian. So six attack. You may reroll for prowess. Reroll for prowess. I will reroll for prowess. You will reroll for prowess, and you may. And I will reroll this removes. for pain. That Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> so eight is to eight. Eight is to eight. Eight is to eight. So who rolled more dice? Uh, uh, it's a tie. Uh, so the activating model still wins the uh, uh, the melee. So you're dealing at damage zero. So. Iju uh, deals at damage zero. And that is and a six. Six, zero. so zero. Attacking wow. six against zero. Six is still unopposed six, so go ahead, roll your uh, roll damage. Roll my damage. Yes! Seven. Seven no, wait, uh, armor, six, six, like armor three. three. Yeah. Six, six. Three, three. So three, so that's minus a minus two. two. Four damage. So deals four damage to uh, Iju gets four damage. What? Is he still alive? Yeah. Okay, six he's still wounds. alive. He still has two wounds left. No so Christian has no more activations and uh, you, you could, you could, I don't Golden know. Sentinel still has one, so... <coughs> you can move yes, I actually... Or you can run over to the girl there to try to wait, get wait. her. I declared push attack. Push attack. So after my attack, since oh, I get well, initiative, well, he's not able to attack. Yes, okay, sure. yeah. So correction, yeah, that was a push attack. So since he was successful <coughs> in the attack, he gets to push... Uh, I think one damage, no? Yan Jing back. No, he dealt no, zero damage. Zero damage, but it Zero damage, but it was successful. So uh, she doesn't actually get to strike him back now. So... Uh, I'm going to... So uh, he's still fresh, uh, that 4 damage. 
a while ago is cancelled and that uh, strong sound at the back is brought to you by Attack Arena Attack Arena where we are playing our game right now <laughs> so the uh, golden sentinel of Rafi is going to attack uh, my guy uh, Rafi is now the uh, avatar of violence in this game against both men and women so that is a melee exchange <laughs> And I will spend, uh, let's try to make this fun. I will spend well, all my key just to increase my attack. Okay, so I'll go make my roll. Two on defense. I roll a five. Five versus a six. So that is one in. So you deal one damage to me plus your damage modifier of 2d6, please. Guys. Plus one, so one seven. plus zero. One plus zero is I get one damage. Last activation of the turn moves Exhausted. again Three and days. bullies Yanjing. We need you. And spend again for feint. And I will do again push attack. No way. So push again. All defense. Feint and push attack. All defense, all attack. Defense is so eight. Eight I, uh, is to and you're he will faint the six. Damn it! <laughs> so six again. So one in. Okay, so deals one damage plus uh, modifier. One damage plus mode. How much? I have plus one sword Maybe plus weapon. one. Yes, sword scale. plus one. <laughs> That is a six, seven, so just one damage. Just one damage. Though. So, end of turn three, we have a uh, melee fight over there. A melee fight over there, and they have totally left this girl. Okay, maybe. The VIP outside, so no one is uh, attaining the objective as of now. Nice. So we are now entering turn four, and Carlos starts with the initiative, and he opts to go clockwise. So I will be next with my Temple Bushi. So this guy Matsu, sure. not Matsu, Iju. That is Iju. Iju. Just be walking, and we'll walk and try to finish off. Finish off this archer. The person. archer girl. So we have Maybe now Iju. a melee exchange. For Fiend. Let's do this. So declaring faint. Defense. Declaring push attack. Because we both want the same thing. <laughs> so here we go. And don't forget your he will reroll one with his faint. Ha! Finally! And then you still may prowess. I think you also have yeah, I'm okay. prowess. I don't want to risk making another one. Yeah. Five, six, seven, seven is to seven. So zero damage. Uh, I have plus one. Plus the damage modifier. Two D6. Six, nine. Nine plus, plus one, one ten, so plus ten. one damage. One damage. Wow, I'm dying really so Damn it. <laughs> so one damage to the bow girl. And then I will get pushed back one. And push attack pushes mm. her. This direction. There. Okay, so I'll spend an activation and declare a disengage. So disengage melee strike, so we will still uh, strike each other Take in exchange. Initiative. So I roll all on defense, no and she's got to an attack. I make my roll. I'm a five, I'm a six. And then I can uh, uh, yeah, well, She's a uh, five, and that is a, a six. six. However, in this melee exchange, <laughs> uh, it's tied dice. So tiebreaker uh, will mean that I will win. So before, because I won, I can freely disengage and get away. I will do a six-inch walk. And I will go to get the girl. <laughs> there to get the girl sneaky, zero, bushy, zero damage. and over there. The girl. Oh, you're gonna beat. Oh wait, wait. You you cannot pass through uh, one inch okay. from uh, my so guy, so you can't actually okay, so go all the way. So you can go up to there, or you can just go ahead and, and, and hit the uh, 
Nabushi and try to finish me off. Yep, sure, that's just that makes sense. Okay, so it's a melee uh, exchange. Is that so it's them. Uh, no, it's still in my front arc. Okay. So I will face that way. But I'm all defense, yeah. and she is all that. attack. So and you're dead. I am only a five. She's rolling. It's just a two and a three. So, so that's a six. So that's a one in. So deals one damage to me plus your modifier. Three six plus one. Seven. Uh, one so that is I think so one one damage to my temple bushi. Running. So runs away from the armored samurai. Running away with my two remaining life. Uh, that is my last application for the run. Okay, so it is now Carlos turn. You can't catch me. <laughs> so Carlos down to his last character Iju, but we have uh, two guys fighting there. It's going back so for to my the last activation of this guy. I will try to disengage. Okay. And I will go like this, okay? okay? And let us go, let us roll. So I'm two defense, one attack. She is two attack, one defense. And I am a six for my defense. Uh, she hits me, so I cannot disengage. She's a seven, so you deal one damage again, plus two d6. So you're dealing one damage, plus a six. Sword puts you at seven, so again, one damage. I'm still alive. And I cannot disengage. You may do that. So he is trying to convince her by talking. Sure? Yes. Can I just con attack? <laughs> He's now opting to attack her, so he now uh, will get more dice. Because violence is sometimes okay. Since Rafi already initiated violence against women, and she's a girl, and she gave us her okay. I said it's only okay because I'm a girl. It's a cat. I'll do the uh, hero in prowess. I'm a five. You're a 5 6. So, yeah. He uh, has uh, slapped her and uh, convinced her that he's the proper man for her. <laughs> that sounded so wrong. Chris, it's your turn. What are you doing? Oh, I'm walking afterwards. Oh, yeah. You may walk first. Yeah. You may go ahead and walk first and try to get away from this two guys here uh, dishing it out. Here. And he moves all the way there, taking the VIP with him. I believe. Christian, you are simply reloading. Yeah, I reload, reload. And Rafi, what are you doing? You're, he's, she's going to fight me. Okay, great. So, with all of the enthusiasm okay. of the temple. She is spending key to increase her dice. And uh, I only have this to defend myself with. So, I'm rolling now. Rolling all my... I made, I have four, I made a six, and it's a seven, you may reroll one, and she has failed to strike me, so now it is my turn, and my turn, I will make a disengaging strike, so I'll try to disengage and run over there, not sure what I'll be able to do, okay, so I am disengaging, okay, I have allotted my dice this way. You need to bring the person to your deployment zone. To the deployment zone, yes. So he has to get all the way there. Okay, so I'm striking you. So a lot your dice, please. Okay, so I have one attack. She has one attack and two on defense. Okay, so I made a four. Her defense is a four. I am deactivating models. Oh, so I win. So I win at zero strike. Roll my damage. And I deal zero damage because that guy is armor three anyway. And then she makes an attack of four. I make a defense of six. So I get to disengage. So I'm going to move towards the VIP over there. Okay, so my model makes it there right behind the heels of the VIP. And it is now Carlos' turn with Iju. So I will run six. And he will run away with his VIP. Run six, yes, to get the VIP all the way here. All the way there. And me back. 
and not yet. So it's now uh, Christian's turn. Now I'm exhausted. So I can't. I have no line of sight through the forest. No. No line of sight through Again. the forest because of this special uh, map we have. Lots of roads. Everyone's Everyone is moving at overtime. But this is a three by three table instead of our typical uh, two by two with one house. A special uh, VIP house with uh, lots of real estate around it. What does that look like? And. Do you have a line of sight on it? Yeah, you do. Yeah. I mean, uh, line of sight. I max at 15. Range 15, does he make it? Yeah. 5 to 10, probably won't. 10 won't. So that is uh, 6 to hit. Seven. You moved 7, seven. you ran, ran. 8. And uh, he's partially covered by the forest, actually. Okay. So that's a nine to hit nine. on three dice. So I, that's an impossible will, shot uh, unless you do something. Full last turn. Uh, but you have brutal. So if you actually roll an eight, you'll make a nine. Okay. So you need a six and two. So I'm rolling four to boost my range. Okay. Uh, so I'm to boost my range. Four. So eight to hit. Nine to hit. So you nine need eight. to roll an eight to make the nine. So I you need the six and two. I have Hotai coin. Let's go Hotai coin. Yes! I made it's it. It's a nine. So hits for zero. It's for zero. It's for zero and you have to roll your damage. Uh, 2d6, bow plus one. Six. Bow plus one. That's a one. <laughs> That's a, um, <laughs> deals Does nothing. nothing. <laughs> Negative damage. I, I tried. I almost did. It was a good try. It was a good it's try. A good try. And it is... Rafi's turn again, and she is continuing to. Oh, she's not gonna bully my guy, but she's going to run to intercept. I should have a bit. Yeah, intercept right there. Yeah. Uh, she's creating dramatic yeah. tension. This is a narrative. <laughs> and I think that's all the activations. Yes, that is all the activations. So we've ended turn five. So, story so far into turn six. Uh, Yiju, uh, the prefecture guy, has the VIP. We have a golden sentinel uh, trying to cut them off there. My temple bushi is here behind the forest trying to catch up to them. The uh, bodyguard of the girl has just stayed there because she has been convinced to leave. And Yanjing, uh, controlled by Chris, is right there. He has a range to the prefecture guy and may also actually sh up to shoot my guy over here so we will start with initiative and Woo! see what happens this final turn so rafi won the initiative and is opted to go counterclockwise so i'll be next her samurai right here within a range of carlos yiju samurai and then i'm gonna try to convince her to come to me <laughs> yeah. so you're just engaging the uh <laughs> vip there who is being dragged, and we will do an opposed uh, key test now, trying to convince. So, two, yeah, is, I mean, violence two is to two. two. No, it's no, talking. It's oh, I made a seven. Or and she is not successful, even with, even with two dice, actually. Because, uh, yeah, so like either, way, her. either way, either like way, slapping her. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Either you way, not uh, convinced. I could, yeah. She could replace the one with it. No, that's a one time. So mistake. I got my Temple Bushi over here. It is now Carlos' turn, and will he attack? Run. Will he run? He is running. I'm gonna run for eight. To his zone. And he's crossing the road, so he's at overtime, and I believe he has now made it to his deployment zone. And as per scenario rules, if you make it there, you actually win. So Prefecture wins this multiplayer game. Get the girl. Carlo gets the girl. <laughs> and he will have a he will have now have an argument with Joyce. 